Mm. Okay. Jihad. While Islam in general is misunderstood in the Western world, perhaps no other Islamic term evokes such strong reactions as the word jihad. Don't we all have these trigger words, our cultures? Because I believe in the Islamic world, there's a There's an alternative, the Western version of jihad, crusade. Oh, man, when George W. Bush said, we're going to have a crusade. Yeah, the Middle East crapped itself. I mean, they had, they got really upset, triggered big time. Don't say crusade. It means invading and terrorism and all that. And yet we have, oh, the. Children's Crusade for Campus Crusade for Christ. We have the, they're usually a Christian noble cause. Kind of like the jihad is the Islamic crusade. More or less, I think. I don't know. Correct me. You know, chime in. Tell me what you think. But yeah, yeah. The word jihad. Yeah. Yeah, or just hearing somebody saying Allah Akbar a whole bunch of times makes you wonder, hey, wait, what's going on? Do I need to, like, run? Uh, fanatics are scary. I don't care who they, where they come from, what they believe. If they're a fanatic about it, they're dangerous. The term jihad has been much abused to conjure up bizarre images of violent Muslims, forcing people to submit at the point of a sword. Gee, just like crusade or like violent Christians coming with a sword and a Bible. and That's why I like religion small. Make it a personal thing. You know, and if the big G is real, well, psh, you're going to win the lotto. So, just chill, folks. <laughs> it's just the thing is, they're just getting too big and rich and influential, and then they they start pushing all the right buttons and firing off all the wrong endorphins and people's brains and the wrong chemicals that can go on when you're getting ecstatic about things or really angry or really in love or really any strong emotion. Eh, people do irrational shit at, at times like that. And some people like to keep that eye going. It's like they just live like that, you know? Anyhow, yeah, that's an ugly image. So is the crusading Christian with their sword with a red cross on it. Now we got... You know, going with, we got the Red Cross. We're here to help. <laughs> I get it. <sighs> Sometimes you both are right about one another. This myth was perpetuated throughout the centuries of mistrust during and after the Crusades. Unfortunately, it survives to this day. And then there's the Islam, uh, there's the um, uh, anti-Semiticism where they talk about their vampires and drinking children's blood and because they're Jewish and all. And so, you know, I'm an atheist, so supposedly my folks like me eat babies. I, no one's invited to me, any, me to any barbecues. <laughs> so, well, except for, I mean, I'm raising pigs, so. Yeah, but, yeah no people, no babies. The word jihad comes from the root word jihada, which means to struggle. So jihad is literally an act of struggling, kind of like a crusade. And this struggle can have various forms. Yeah, like Batman's the cape, caped crusader. <laughs> 
he's got a waging a one man crusade against crime. <sighs> the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, referred to the struggle against the insidious suggestions of one's old soul, one's old, the insidious suggestions of one's own soul. I did read that right. Wow. As a form of jihad. So kind of like in Proverbs and I think Jeremiah, where they say the heart is a liar and a fool listens to the heart. Except when you're looking for that burning in the bosom, then it, you could be a fool for the truth, you know, and confound the wise and I don't know, all that crazy crap. Uh, sorry, I think I'm getting a little too much Apostle Paul leakage here. All right, back to this prophet, who has a similar story, by the way. It's all about take this guy's word. It got written down back in the day. All right. Yeah, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Rip, rip. Yeah, one soul. Yeah, all right. Thus, the inner struggle of being a person of virtue and submission to God in all aspects of life is part of the essence of Islam and is therefore jihad. Because jihad's like the Swiss army knife. Yeah, if it involves effort. <laughs> I don't know if you have a jihad, if you got those like little... <laughs> when things aren't moving along, I mean, and you got a strain, is that jihad? That ain't jihad, is it? I don't know, man. <laughs> it installs where you hear praying. <laughs> Maybe this guy confused which booth to go in. Oh, boy. Jihad also refers to struggle against injustice, kind of like Batman's crusade on crime. Islam, like many other religions, allows for armed self-defense or retribution against tyranny, exploitation, and oppression. Wow, sounds like a Cape Crusader almost. The glorious Quran says, and why should ye not fight in the cause of God and of those who, being weak, are ill-treated and oppressed? Men, women, and children whose cry is, Oh, Lord, rescue us from this town whose people are oppressors and raise for us from, and raise for us for from the one the one who will protect and raise for us uh, for us from thee, one who will help. And that's Sarah 4, verse 75. Now, were there better ones? Thus, <sighs> uh, Islam enjoins upon its believers to strive utmost in purifying themselves as well as in establishing peace and justice in the, in the society. A Muslim can never be at rest while there is injustice and oppression around her. Their pronoun. Martin Luther King Jr. quite aptly said, quotation, we will have to repent in this generation for not uh, generation not merely for the hateful words and actions of the bad people but for the appalling silence of the good people shame end quote islam 
it joins upon all Muslims to act to work. Islam enjoins upon all Muslims to work actively to maintain the balance in which God created everything. However, regardless of how legitimate the cause may be, the glorious one categorically denounces the killing of innocent people. And me too. Condemn it. Terrorizing the civilian population, whether by small groups or by states, i.e. countries. Can never be termed as jihad and can never be reconciled with the teachings of Islam. And that's it for the recap on jihad. I that was pretty good. Uh, your thoughts, please chime in. I'm reading comments whenever I get them. I haven't had any lately, but uh, it's a treat. <laughs> anyway, more to come. I think uh, I think I'm going to go in before the mosquitoes come out. So, yeah, chime in. Let me know if you learned something. If this was life changing, all that. <laughs>